The Iranian Ministry of Defense and the Air Force collaborated to create this single-seat twin-engine fighter jet wonder. It is equipped with advanced sensors that let them spot and chase down opposing aircraft, a vast array of weapons and ammunition, and the ability to target particular ground locations during battle. In this video, we will look at Iran's F-5 jet fighter version, Hisa Saika, its different features and newer upgrades. So be sure to stay with us till the end. In July 2004, a test flight of the first prototype of the aircraft was presented on state television. According to a translation of a broadcast on the Islamic Republic of Iran News Network, or IRIN, by the Washington-based Middle East Media Research Institute, or MEMORY, the Saika became operational on September 6, 2006, when it participated in an Iranian military war game exercise called Blow of Zulfikar. To bolster its deterrence capabilities, the Iranian military added a new squadron of domestically made Saika fighter bombers to the country's air force in February 2010. Tehran is eager to manufacture its own jet fighters, but designing and producing modern combat planes presents daunting technological difficulties that an isolated industrial base would find impossible to overcome on its own. Nonetheless, since the turn of the century, the Iranian Air Force has aggressively shown its creation of various homegrown fighter planes, most notably the Hisa Saika, also called the Thunderbolt, which Iranian media has claimed is superior to the F-18 Hornet. However, performance requirements and technical specifics for these planes have remained classified or non-existent. This might be due to secrecy rather than a lack of detail, as the Saika is a reverse-engineered American F-5 Freedom Fighter with a new tail and better avionics. The F-5 Freedom Fighter is based on a Northrop project from the 1950s that resulted in the two-seat T-38 Talon trainer that is still in use by the U.S. Air Force today. However, a single-seat derivative evolved into the F-5, a lightweight supersonic fighter for export to the U.S.'s less rich military partners. This exquisite tiny fighter could carry more than 6,000 pounds of bombs on five hardpoints, as well as two Sidewinder heat-seeking air-to-air missiles on the wingtips, and was initially priced at around $756,000 per plane. A later variant, called the F-5E Tiger II, added radar, stretched the fuselage, to store more fuel, widen the stubby wings for increased agility, and strengthen the J-85 turbojets, increasing maximum speed to Mach 1.6. Freedom fighters went on to experience considerable battle over the skies of Vietnam, Ethiopia, Iran, Kuwait, and Yemen, and are still being actively utilized in ground attack missions by Tunisia and Kenyan air forces today. Between 1965 and 1976, Iran acquired over 300 freedom fighters of various versions from the United States, including 166 of the more modern F-5Es and F-Tiger IIs in the 1970s, and 15 RF-5A Tiger I reconnaissance aircraft reputedly used for U.S. espionage missions into Soviet territory. During the Iran-Iraq War, they were mostly used as ground assault aircraft. Still, they also participated in a number of air fights, scoring four to four kills against faster Iraqi MiG-21 fighters and even destroying a MiG-25 Foxbat with cannon fire. However, the impact of the Iranian Revolution halted the supply of spare parts, replacement aircraft, and missiles from the United States, required to keep the F-5 fleet operational. The Iranian Air Force improvised new components and cannibalized older planes for spare parts, and now it is thought that the Iranian Air Force still has 30 to 50 operable F-5s in its inventory. Iran announced in 1997 that the Iranian aircraft manufacturing industrial company, Hisa, was developing a domestically produced jet fighter called the Azarax, also known as Lightning, which supposedly was entering mass production. That is, four to six appear to have been built in the subsequent decade out of a planned 30. The Azarax was clearly a reverse engineered F-5E with upgraded thrusters, strengthened wings, redesigned radar, and better weapon capability. 
the Azarox, appears to have never achieved operational units, and the program was canceled in 2010. By 2004, the new Saikwa fighter had been broadcast on state television. It has also been referred to as the Saikwa 80 and the Azarx 2. This seems to be an F5, but with two vertical tail stabilizers canted outward like those on the F-15 Hornet. To emphasize the point, the Saikwas were painted navy blue and yellow to look like the Blue Angels aerobatic team. The Saikwas also have a new square jet intakes and extra wing strakes. In a 2007 war scenario, the planes were inspected by then-President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and launched missiles at targets. The twin tail stabilizers of the Sequa are said to provide greater turning and takeoff performance than the F-5E, making it a superior low and slow fighter. Upgrading the F-5 to carry sophisticated armaments would be a clear upgrade, but images of Saikwas thus far show them only armed with short-range Sidewinder air-to-air missiles, as well as unguided air-to-ground bombs and rocket pods. Another apparent update would be modernized avionics and radar. However, specifics on such upgrades are few. The Saikwa is said to have a domestically manufactured countermeasure and navigation system, as well as updated cockpit instrumentation bought from Russia or China. The APG-159 radar is also said to have been improved. The engines of the Saikwa are a mystery. According to some rumors, they were Russian RD-33 turbofans, which were incorrect since the F-5 airframe is too tiny to accommodate them. Iran declared in 2016 that it had successfully reverse-engineered the F-5's J-85 engines for local manufacturing, which might imply that the earlier Saikwas were powered by reconditioned rather than new J-85s. The Saikwa was assigned to an operational unit, the 23rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, stationed in Tabriz, northwest Iran, where it flew reconnaissance missions. Observers have only spotted serial numbers for nine of the expected 24 aircraft. It is currently reported that there are enough for a second squadron, although the precise number of deployed aircraft is unknown. According to reports, these aircraft retain the F-5's modest maintenance needs. The Iranian Air Force showcased the Saikwa 2 two-seater version on February 9, 2015. Previously, the Iranian Air Force modified 13 older single-seat F-5s into Simorg, or also called Phoenix, two-seat trainers by reusing parts from earlier F-5s. The Saikwa 2, on the other hand, is designed to be both a trainer and a combat plane with enhanced radar and weapon loads, as well as the ability to deploy precision-guided missiles. Iran's 17 existent F-5F two-seaters are likely to be the foundation for Saikwa 2 manufacturing. In any event, while the Saikwa 2 isn't new or mass-produced fighter in the traditional sense, it is still a nimble supersonic jet fighter that may be a valuable trainer and light fighter like the Korean F-A-50 Golden Eagle. The Iranian fighter, on the other hand, has yet to be observed carrying long-range air-to-air missiles or precision-guided armaments, both of which are required for updated third-generation MiG-21s or F-4 Phantoms. Given Tehran's past record of exaggerating its military technology to the point of bending the facts, the Sequa's silence on this part of its capabilities may be instructive. But it may be beside the point. The refurbished and rebuilt F-5s may help Iran acquire expertise in jet fighter manufacture, test the twin-tail layout, and serve as effective propaganda for Iran's industrial capabilities. The knowledge gathered from the Saikwa program might be applied to a completely new design, such as the Shafak subsonic stealth fighter. The first Shafak prototype was intended to be completed by 2008. However, the only sighting of the fighter since then has been a wooden mock-up in 2014. It was ultimately confirmed in 2016 that a Shafak prototype would shortly begin testing. This demonstrates that Iran's venture into domestic military aircraft manufacture is a long-term process aimed at eventual self-sufficiency and that Tehran's claims about its homemade arms should not be taken too literally. Is the Hisa Saikwa as dangerous as they say, or is it just a myth? If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for daily military updates. Don't forget to leave a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching.